so Can you do a good Brooklyn accent? Yeah, go on. All right, honestly, honey. Oh! Right? Like, I don't know how to do no other accent other than this one, because this is like the one. So I'm good. obsessed. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, assisting? Daisy, actually. Because you've been missing, hun. <laughs> you've not been here. Everyone's I know. wondering where you are. Oh, where I'm back. You? I was I was a bit ill. She was oh. ill. I know, I got, got wiped out with the COVID a few weeks oh, ago. No. Well, I think oh. people are still getting COVID in this day and age. I know how. Um, but Satna and I are here. We're joined with Millie Hobbs. Hello. And newest guest, <laughs> Joella Noble. Hello. BBC and MTV presenter. It's so good to have you on the sofa. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Great. Well, we'll get started. We're excited about this one. How is everyone? I mean, Mill, we bumped into you yesterday, yes, which was a treat. I know. It was such a good Two surprise. It was good. Where were we? We were at the warehouse event. Event. Tatiana, Tatiana yeah. So good, so fun. Yeah, yeah we had a yeah. very nice breakfast, didn't we? It was good. Yeah. That it was breakfast. Yeah, it was yeah. a nice press breakfast. With It was the launch of a um, really cool artist, Tatiana Olida. She'd done a collection for Warehouse, so we were dressed up in that. Yeah. And she'd done all the tablescape. It was amazing. It was sick. Yeah. She, she'd done this sarong, which she'd put over the table as a tablecloth. Oh, I yeah, love we that. We had pastries, we had birch and muesli. Yeah. We she had... made these like vases and had like hand painted them. And, yeah, like, oh, it was the amazing. table scaping was on point. Wow. It was good. so nice. Really and where have you been? I feel like you've been. I've had a bit of a whirlwind of um, like six weeks. It's been a bit mental. So I'm like very happy to be like not going anywhere. Um, so I had an exciting trip to Ibiza with Jimmy Choo. Oh, yeah, yes. okay. I love that. that. Can I just, yeah. we need to go into a bit more detail yeah. of this. <laughs> we saw it all on Instagram, but we need a bit more. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. I mean, um, How so, many of you were there? So it was four of us from the UK, and then there was, I think, four or five of the territories. So there was like Italy, uh, Germany, Israel, France. And all content creators. All content creators. Um, so there was like, yeah, like 30 of us there. Wow. And then we were all shooting for the launch of the new fragrance. Um, so the content's coming out, I think, in the next couple of weeks. Ooh, okay. Like so hopefully by the time this podcast has gone yeah, on. Yeah, we'll keep mm -hmm. um, it And it was just, yeah, pretty out of this world, to be honest. Oh um, I literally walked into the hotel room and like, welled up. <laughs> Oh, that's well, it, was like a it was like oh it was one of those like oh my god and they like i walked into the room and they had um like loads of like boxes and bags on the bed and i was like bags and shoes and i was just like so you did get this? shoes did get shoes yeah and um, it was a it was a perfume like launch right yeah but then there was also like a gifting suite they took over like this massive room and you walked in it was just like shoes and bags this must be like little millie's dream no yes. no like that and that's what it was it was like oh my god like it was just crazy um but yeah, it was amazing. what shoes did you get so they were i'm actually i'm actually gonna change them <laughs> <laughs> That's why you didn't say it initially. <laughs> no, because they, I mean, they're amazing, but like I would wear, I want a pair that I'm going to wear like loads. Time, yeah. mm. um, so they were these like incredible, um, like fuchsia pink platforms, yeah, um, nice. which went with the bag, which I love the bag. Um, but I was like, I think I'm going to get wear out of like a black platform or maybe yeah. something a bit more slinky. Um, so that was smart. That was just, that's yeah. smart. Um, yeah. yeah. I know which ones you're, you're talking about oh, really? as well. They're lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. So yeah, it was good. Oh, amazing. Well, Joella, oh. we need to hear about you and BBC. <laughs> and like, well, I've got so many questions. The story. Can Keep them coming, let's go. Listeners, like, how did you get into everything? Honestly, like I always knew as a kid that I just wanted to do something in the creative world. I really wanted to be a singer can't sing, oh. terrible. That's always so hard. Genuinely, I, really, I blame my mum, you know, <laughs> something we need to unpack because she knows that I wanted to be a singer. She caught me in the front room singing plenty of times <laughs> without me knowing that she was even in the house, oh. you know? So that didn't work out for me. I said, right, fine. By the way, I, I was raised in New York, so I, okay. like as a kid, right. yeah. Wow. So were you I, born I, there? No, no, so I was actually born here. I went to New York when I was five. And how long were you in New, New Until York? Until I was about 13. Okay, cool. So mm -hmm. like for those like foundational years of yeah. my youth, that was like, that was me, mm. you know? Brooklyn, New York lives within my heart mm. always and forever. So when the singing didn't work out, the rapping definitely oh, took yeah. over. <laughs> I used to like put on ad hoc performances mm -hmm. um, at school in, in like the right. playground and stuff and just, you know, maybe do like two songs. But I was a bit of a perfectionist, so that didn't work out. And just like throughout my life, like I've always just wanted, like I said, to do some creative stuff. I've always felt mm -hmm. it in my soul, you know? And um, when I came back, you know, went through the usual education system. And by the time I was about, by the time uni came round, um, my mum left to go back to Trinidad, that's where she's from. And so like, 
my life definitely changed in terms of stability, yeah. you know? So I was living by myself from quite a oh, young wow. age. And I started working these jobs I absolutely mm. hated. Like, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, I just felt like I couldn't live my true creative mm. life. The little girl who wanted to sing and- You're like, this you is know, not what I meant to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not supposed to be like, doing the accounts, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm not a left brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, but I'd say like the first job that really kind of established me in some kind of scene was the weekly GRM daily news oh, that right. I did. Cause coming from New York, I didn't really know about the UK music scene mm. like that. So I'm totally missed the garage era. Um, the beginning of grime, wasn't really here for that. Yeah. So that was like training in terms of learning yeah. about that. And I'm a proper music head. So yeah, yeah that was one of my favorite things oh, for sure. Yeah. And can you just tell us, cause you told us before we came on the podcast. Oh my gosh. You <gasps> have just oh interviewed my. 50 Cent. I yeah, can't, I literally just came right, back. Come on, we need, oh, we need everything. We need, we need oh, it. I'm, I'm like giggling. Just come from <laughs> Is it in person? Now? No, that's oh, I know, no. I know. But still. At still. the moment, he's in Portugal. Okay, okay. so we'll let him off. <laughs> like, felt Rude. kind of personal. Yeah. You know, yeah. what, not want to see me face to face, <laughs> fine. Um, but yeah, that was for um, Wireless. Okay. So I'm, myself and DJ Target, we're going to be doing our shows at Wireless on the Saturday and Sunday from oh, seven to nine p.m. So, and that's in a few weeks time, right? That is next week. So by the time this comes out, we might, yeah. we may have already done it. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we'll link it below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he's obviously gonna be um, a special guest yeah. wow. on the Sunday, I believe. And honestly, I used to go sleep listening to Get Rich or Die Try It. <laughs> it's like the true, yeah. you know, is New that your York, favorite song? Get, like, no, the album, Get Rich right. or Die oh, Try It, totally you. unskippable. Oh, yeah. I couldn't really choose one one tune yeah. that I like off of that album, to be honest. Maybe Patiently Waiting, it's got um, Eminem on it as mm. well. And I told him, you know, if you need yeah. someone yeah. to stand in for Eminem, then I could <laughs> be there. a girl. I'm happy to do that. I love that. You know, so I let good. him know that I was raised in New York too. I was just, yeah, any yeah. connection. Yeah. But <laughs> genuinely, like, it was a really lovely interview. Oh, he was nice I bet he loved you. really personable, yeah, so really nice. chatty. Amazing. They definitely tried to, like, kick me off a couple times, but we were just <laughs> vibing, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for that. That's and amazing. You've been in the Lion's Den as well with Josh Denzel. Oh stuff, my right? I need to know more about this oh, as well. Yeah, <laughs> so I did Lion's Den. Okay. That was for the, um, the World Cup, okay. right? And then last year, yeah, it was the women's Euros. Euros, okay. Yeah. So you've yeah. done both. I've done that both. That is so mega. Amazing. Thank you. And are you very big into sports? Do you know what? I always say that football chose me. I never chose it. Yeah. Genuinely. One of the first things I did on my own was um, a sneaker review show. Because I just yeah. needed to show people who I was yeah. outside of like a brand or yeah, yeah, yeah. a production company just telling me exactly mm. what to do. I kind of needed to establish yeah. my personality and my creativity. And that was like the way to do it for me. And I swear everyone thought that I was like a sporty girl after. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> and what are your top tips? for presenting? Oh my gosh, um, don't overthink <clears throat> it. Okay, number one, actually, preparation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean like a week in advance, you know, sometimes you might have like 24 hours notice or even mm. a few hours notice, but in some kind of way, like, you know, have like Get bullet points. Yeah. Your background yeah, mm. yeah, like as best as you can. Mm -hmm. um, but also like believe in yourself as well and like try and be in that present moment anytime you're doing the interviews, because then instead of like thinking about, oh, what question do I have to ask? We're actually just having a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes like that person might be saying something that you can ad lib off and yeah. it will start something so different and new uh, that you might not have got if you were just like thinking, oh gosh, I, I have these questions. That yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. yeah, and I think that's why it's important to be yourself. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are like the top ones, definitely. And top career highlights in terms of interviews. I was literally yeah. just about to ask that. Apart from 50 Cent, who's your favorite? Apart from 50 Cent, how am I even supposed to top that? Respectfully. Is that, is that, is that your top? Respectfully to everyone else that I've interviewed. Really? And do you know what, actually? I just done Soccer Aid as well. Oh, and that's really so cool. Great. Yeah, that was cool. I did the um, the training days did on you? Thursday and Friday. Because they filmed all that, didn't they? They Pre did. Yeah. So I was like hosting the social for that and then on Sunday I did the extra time show with Jermaine Genus mm. so I had already like built yeah, up I saw you on I saw you on did it. you yes, see I did yeah uh, I, I can't believe it's taking me this long to put it is it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it was amazing. And so, I mean, I don't know how much you guys are into football. Are you Are you into football? My boyfriend is a diehard Arsenal fan. Yeah. Arsenal, all right. So if you say to your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go. You, you're, yeah, I got intel now. Genuinely, David Seaman, who is an Arsenal legend. Right, right? I'm going to pretend to be Honestly, <laughs> say, say to your boyfriend, but oh my gosh, you know, I met David Seaman today. <laughs> do it. Okay. No, Gen he's, he's, he'll cry. Like he's not gonna I'm know what gonna to do with himself. Tonight, like, Please like, remember, I'm never gonna guess who I was. Text him. Yeah, guess who was on the show? <laughs> guess who uh, Joella came with? Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, as like a music girl, are you gonna go? I know you're going to wireless, but do you go to many festivals? Like as just like a festival goer? Yeah, no, a hundred percent. I just went to that City Splash oh, right. um, festival as well. That was insane. There were so many people there. Um, but yeah, I love a good show, yeah. honestly. But I, I really love intimate shows as right. well. So like, I used to work at Shepherd's Bush Empire mm -hmm. um, behind the bar. And um, right after I left, Beyonce yes. came and done Shocker. like a, uh. a little... <laughs> like show that she recorded. Oh, I was so sad. I would oh be my God, so glad. Glad. No. My girl. Did you go to a concert? No. no. We were just no. But like I was the only person. I know. I, I feel like every, I don't know everyone why I did that. Like, you will be at Era, Era's I will be at the Era's tour. Taylor okay. Swift. I will be there. Okay. Manifesting it. I yeah. say it every time. But yeah, no, that's incredible. Did you guys see recently Tom Holland and Zendaya at her concert? Yes, did yes. I did. The best time. Yes. It was so wholesome. Oh my it was God. so, I love them as well. Because didn't they have like breakup rumors not too long ago? Did they, I, Why am I dreaming? That, didn't I don't. Yeah, I didn't. I don't believe he it. He's so obsessed with her. I love I it. Know. He's so obsessed. Aww. But since we're talking about hot listy bits, should we move on to the hot list? Yes. We do this thing called the hot list, and it's okay. basically chatting about things going on in pop culture. Mm -hmm. So things like Zendaya and Tom at exactly. the concert. But another big thing is obviously the Jackamus show that was just the other day. Yes. Did we all see it? Do you know what? I've only I've not seen as much as I would like. Normally I'm reviewing it but yeah. the one with the boats yes yes, yes. yes. i just saw um, an amazing clip of victoria beckham and david beckham david, yeah they look good so that was but i think they are definitely they have the best shows they do and they always have the best, the best. guests always have the best models they're so just on trend with everything um did you see as well because they all came up for those listening that haven't seen it the runway was like along a big river yeah or well, it was where was every it? runway is it was so in the palace clever. of versailles oh okay okay right, and then yeah. the guests would come up in rowing boats level up with the mm -hmm. runway and all sit there it's love just, that so you know what i so thought clever. straight away as soon as i watched that how did they get on the boats right. like that must have been yeah. so they had the ball they, 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 they had people in wetsuits apparently no. swimming helping guide them on this that's how oh like God. just planned to a t it is because yeah. hills yeah yeah, that's, that's, that's what I saw the video of Victoria Beckham trying to get off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, like, oh I will be calling. Imagine. But they just had all these little divers probably treading water, just helping each so, boat line yeah. up. Did you see that video of Kendall, Gigi, and I forgot there's one other person, and them all on their little golf, golf buggy in their huge dresses? Oh, like, so good. They looked so good. Yeah, they looked, good. They looked, they looked mega. Yeah, yeah, but you're right, is, though. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we've had the one in the field, do you remember? Yes, with the lavender. And the raffia. We had the raffia one when it was like raining raffia. We had. That was that one on the beach. Oh yeah, and they yes. had like his yes. grandma as well was in one of the campaigns and oh, every he's time. just so yeah. good. He always nails it. Their and creative's always, amazing. It's always so true to their style. Yeah. Like they don't like go and do something really random in terms of like. But it's still fresh. Court. Like it's you're still like exactly. excited by what they're doing. Like and they're just their brand is just iconic, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. so, and their guest invite list is so good. Like they always have new people who are mm. like culturally in the moment. Yeah. Like that um, girl. I've forgotten her name now, but from the new Bridgerton show. Okay, yeah. I've forgotten I, what I her name know. is, but no, she's like sure, really, like yeah. she's really up and coming and they always like make sure that they include yeah. those people and it's yeah. not just like the old fashioned crew. Mm, one of the um, DJs that, mm -hmm. I don't know if she DJed the show or the, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure she DJ DJed the show. Um, her name's Jotty, she's mm -hmm. amazing. And she's wow. there every year. And wow. it's been really beautiful actually to see because she has such like a cult following, you know, yeah. that's like really grown since doing Boiler Room and stuff like that. But she's really, um, she's that's amazing. amazing. She does it every so year. Good. Yeah, yeah. And they so always good. have videos on after the show that was always having like a huge party. Like right, it's next always. Is oh my God. Yes. We yeah. need to be there. It was like the videos of him like dancing with everyone. <laughs> yes. Was so good. Oh, it's so awesome. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Brilliant. That's so Cute. good. So good. Anything else? Barbie. Yes. Oh When's it out? So it's it's coming. To, it's it's around the corner. It's, I, I feel, feel like we've so been talking excited. about Barbie for like three years I now. Know. Like it is coming. But I must soon. say, their marketing people, their marketing yeah. campaign is 
second to none. I think Margot Robbie's just set off in like this pink car about to tour but everywhere. But to me, like it's, mm. for me, it's the, the, all the brands that are doing like, the yes, for the clubs, yes. like Bottega, Bottega. Uh, with, Obviously with Margot Robbie. Yeah. And then what did I see earlier Apple today? have released a pink iPhone, apparently. No, no stop. Stop. Of course they have. Yeah. How have they got all these and brands on board? Literally, oh every God. makeup brand. But it's every Barbie. Everything. How I not? Like, it is were, iconic. Were you all obsessed with Barbie yes. growing up? Because I was. Yes. I always used to do their hair. Like, that was my thing, oh, was doing their hair. I used to singe off my Barbie's hair, honestly. <laughs> Those poor Shop Barbies. all off. Yeah, yeah, I used to use my mum's... Um, curling tongs to straighten the Barbie's hair. (laughs) Growing up in New York, but I don't know what it was like over here, but like there was quite a lot of option Mm -hmm. for like different skin tones with Barbies. And so I would have like the ones with the afros and stuff like that. But one day I'm, I want a different hairstyle. So an everyday afro, I want like the flick at the end, you know? I mean, I did that and completely singed it and still works with, I called her Kiara. That was her name. My brother used to like, my brother used to terrorize my Barbie. Oh yeah, like I used Remember to go brats? to the limits. Yeah, I thought like that was more our well. age. Was yeah, brats. Well, the, my mum thought mm. they were too like. And then you had the one with just the head and the hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they were quite saucy. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were bit, yeah they I were think that's why I love them. I think that's why my mum didn't. Mm. She was like, I won't. I'm not buying you those ones. I love yeah. their yeah. movies. Like they always had the, yeah, brats, the brats movies. movies. They were iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were iconic. The little mini skirts and the huge lips. Loved it. Yeah, platform shoes. It's actually the aesthetic. Yeah. Like, we're still, that's actually my whole vibe. Yeah. Like, I love a little mini Yeah, skirt. yeah. <laughs> love a little overline on the legs. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> so um, good. No, well, then, Ailing, I'm looking forward to that. I think we'll have to give, as yeah, soon as that's to. coming out, we need to go and see it. 100%. Oh my God, do you know what? I've just remembered another thing I wanted to talk about. I saw this on TikTok, as everything I see. There's this thing called pear rings. Have you heard of it? Oh. As in pear, like the fruit, and then rings. What? So oh, no. basically, it's like a new dating thing. So so if you're wearing the ring and you see someone else wearing it, it's like they want to be approached. So it's a bright green ring. Oh, so it's I like see. a just new way of dating. Just in general. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. So it's, a da- it's a dating It's like website. a community, yeah. Okay. Dating site that have released these rings and you put the rings on. I wonder so how then... many people will do it. Well, well, I, I keep it's, seeing it's TikToks. Getting people traction. are doing it. It is getting traction. Because people are like... So it's like a green light almost. Like, I'm literally. Like, I, I rate like it. I think, yeah. it's, yeah. I think it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. With like Tinder and Hinge and all. It's like just a new way. It's a bit more like personable. Like you're actually going up to people. Also, it avoids the rejection. Like, you know, people are aware of that. Because then you just think, oh, brilliant. Straight Also, I mean, you could still reject. Yeah, you could. But, yeah. You could actually turn around. You're actually the worst kind of rejection. <laughs> Throw it off. Yeah, yeah like, like keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I know, but I, I mean, if I was single, I think that's actually such a cool. I don't think I way. could do it. Though. They're not that aesthetic. Though. I wouldn't do it. They're a bit like rubber. They're like, quite. They're the green. Yeah, also, isn't like the I, green. I wouldn't. I didn't. I wouldn't do that. I don't think. No, no. no. I'd like to know who else is on there because the TikToks I'm seeing are like people our age. But like now young everyone people. knows. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah but yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. Mm. Like, yeah, you go get someone on. I, you find I've never love. actually been on a date inside ever in my whole life. I, no, I can't say I have. I've either. been on one, but I've never gone on a date through it. Okay. Like I just did a bit of scrolling and a bit of chatting and I've yeah. never, I was too scared. I hear so many horror yeah, stories. Yeah, I did it for a short period of no, time. I, a load of my friends, they've, They've literally found their forever really? on, yeah, on Hinge. On Hinge, Same, yeah. actually. Really? Yeah. Hinge is the one. Hinge, that, uh, yeah, I Hinge think that is, is the one. one. But that's because yeah. that's... Which one's the one where girls approach the guy first? Bumble. Bumble, 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 Bumble yeah. Right. I was terrible on that because I didn't message anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, oh, so shit, bad. I meant to be the one. <clears throat> yeah. 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 No, no one's one messaging me. Yeah. No. No one messaging me ever. That was the most depressing month of my life. Yeah. Um, well, should we move on to products and things and TV that we're sure. loving? Yeah, Let's I want to know. What, Joella, what have you got yeah. for us? Um, I tried out the Nando's Loaded Chips <gasps> the other oh day. God, I haven't had them. Have what you seen them? them? Yeah, I've seen, but I haven't had them. So yeah, because so. I tried to order them as well. They, I don't think they're available to be ordered uh, off of any, any of those sites. Oh. Yeah, just you've got to go in. So I did the walk, base, oh. right? <laughs> that was good because then that means that Three I'm like in. looking yeah. off yeah. the exactly. Loaded Chips I'm about to have. Mm. And I'm not usually a chip orderer. It's not me. But if I see Loaded Chips on that menu. So talk me through the layers. Yeah, what is it? We've got... Obviously, peri peri sauce. Yeah, I did hot. Yeah, right. Yep, yep, you yep. Go hot. Oh, standard. Oh yeah, that's my I'm standard. I'm so bummed. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. What else did we have? Cheese, of course. Yeah. Just loaded chips without cheese. Um, <laughs> Melted. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's gotta be. Gotta gooey. be. Yeah. 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 But they were banging. Banging. Bang Out of ten. Love. Um, I give it an eight. Okay. Okay. Strong. Maybe eight point four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Point four. Love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else you're loving? What else am I loving? Um, I'm a big um, product 
junky, <laughs> right? But there are some products that are absolutely can't like, live without. Yeah, no, mm. nothing can like replace desert it. island products. One hundred percent. One of them is the Kills Midnight Recovery mm, Concentrate. I've heard good things about that. Honestly, Ooh. so in the evening when I take off my makeup and stuff, I lather that on, and it's just so nice. <laughs> what is it a serum? Yeah, and well, it's like an a oil. thick cr- it's an oh, is oil? It oil. I thought yeah. it was a cream. There's also a cream. It's not the Midnight versions. Recovery one. I don't think. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. But there is also a, like a cream that comes in that same color, like that purple, right, and that yeah. is very thick. Mm. And I use that sometimes as well. <laughs> I, I love skincare. It's good for hydration. Yeah, yeah. I'm all here for it, honestly. Nice. Lovely. Well, mm. you that? Milk. Milk. Ooh. <laughs> what am I loving? <laughs> also a skincare product. Um, as you know, I'm on a real skincare journey yes. at the minute. Yeah. And I'm loving the Dermatica 20% Azelaic Acid. I've just Ooh, been seeing okay. something from there. I was really, like, I really wanted to their know. Their stuff yeah, is so like? good. So I've been seeing, um, like, a dermatologist. I've done, like, a 12-week program with her. Yeah. So I did, like, blood tests and everything to get to, like, root of the cause. Right. And then she recommended, because they reached out to me before, mm-hmm. and I'm really strict with, like, who I say yes or no to, like, yeah. skincare. Because I'm, mm. like, I'm, my skin's just so sensitive. And then she recommended um, the Azelaic Acid from there. Right. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. And it is unbelievable. Really? For, like, for scarring. For like, or well, scarring, skin texture. Okay. Um, my Once my cheeks are really deep, so I need like extra help there, but my forehead scars are so oh, much better. Wow. But just like nice. overall, like, it's like brightness, skin texture, it's just so good. Well, it's like, nice of really, hearing really products that actually work. work. And you yeah. know that yeah. they work. And I know also, the journey you're on, so I feel yeah. like that's and I think a good like, wreck. the skincare... Like, there's so many products, aren't there? It's like, it's 100%. so overwhelming. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you've got, like, a concern. It's like, oh, my God. Mm. Like, oh, and often you have to someone... stick at something for exactly. a while, don't yeah. you? And, and it's what... so different for everyone. Yeah, what works with someone, like, might not work for someone yeah. else. So you have to try and find, like, what's right for your skin and stuff. Um, but if you get on with it, it's amazing. So I don't do well with retinol. So oh, I have no. to do a really yeah. clear retinol. Yeah. I tried retinol. Broke but they, me they, out. they do tell you oh. that it breaks you out because it's kind of like cleansing. There's like a purging think, period. Yeah. yeah. You've got to get you used to it. You've got to be so it. careful because if you overstep it, it can really, it can really, yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. I'm too scared yeah, to try it. Yeah, Even so. as like a beauty editor, as a beauty I editor, cannot. Yeah. I'm still like really? giving my, yeah. yeah. I get so she said like, because I tried it again, she recommended one because I was like, oh, this one that I had. She was like, maybe it was just that particular one that you use. So we'll try this one. And again, it was like, she was like, no, your skin just does not like that ingredient yeah. at all. Um, but yeah, if anyone's suffering with okay. scarring or just overall complexion, brightness, yeah. texture. Brill. But Sap, have you got any hot prods to share with us? My main one is the show, The Idol, The Weekend's new show. Yes. I've started the you first episode. Started. Is it yeah. good? Yeah, it yeah, so far good. so good. Yeah. It is very weird. Like if you've watched Euphoria, it it's is that vibe. That, yeah. It's giving me that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. it is like a few steps further. The acting, I honestly think, is really good. I was just about to say, Lily Rose Depp has surprised so me. Really? Like, I've never yeah. really seen her in anything. I think this is her first major I think, I think she's been in, like, a small a indie film or something. Stuff. Yeah. Um, she's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But let's just say Johnny like won't be watching this show. He will not be watching this show. Really? She is, she? her, like, tits are out literally 80% <laughs> of the time. Like, genuinely. Oh, I feel like he's, it's, like, an artiste, though, isn't he? Yeah. He'd probably be, like... Yeah, it's on like Now it's... TV. Oh, okay. Artiste. Oh, Artiste. you've only it's watched right. one episode. You won't be saying that after oh, really? a few more. Oh, God. It is very graphic. Um, but I do genuinely like the storyline. The weekend, I wasn't sure what to expect, like, of his acting. Mm-hmm. But I'm actually really impressed. Yeah. Like, he has nailed the creepy, like, weirdo guy. Like, he has <laughs> nailed it to a T. Really? And oh, I'm surprised. honestly convinced he is just this person yeah. in real life. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope he's not, because his character is really fucked up. Oh. But I, I honestly really like the show. The music as well. Obviously, it's produced by him. So yeah. yeah, it's great. I'm not surprised that he nailed the creepy thing. Not because yeah. I think he's creepy, but just like, I guess, you know, in terms of his own creativity and yeah. his like visuals and stuff, he's really kind of taken mm, it yeah. a bit further, you yeah, know. And you could tell sure. he's into that stuff. So yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like when I seen um Lady Gaga do the American Horror Story. Oh yes, Horror American Horror Story. Story. She was so good. Amazing. That was like her first acting yeah. role, I and think. And then she did Star Wars. Mm. Born yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Rest yeah. Yeah. History. yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. Cool. But I really recommend, um, it's on Now TV. Tell okay, I've got some on my, on my wish list. Oh yeah, what? tell us. Oh, it's a brand called Asta Resort, you might have heard of it. So a girl that I was on the Jimmy Choo trip mm-hmm. with, I'd actually noticed it before on a girl that I follow, Emma Ledger. And so oh, it's yeah, this lime it. green, like slightly sparkly, a little bit see-through, so you can do like an oh, underwear nice. like situation. Um, and then Freya, who I was on the Jimmy Choo trip with, wore it one evening, I was like, I need that. 
immediately. Yeah. And then Duty wore it recently she? when she oh, went to, see. well, she make an ass with yeah, it. Yeah. Oh my God, that was like a lovely she, trip. I'm waiting <laughs> to get her back to talk about that. Yeah. Um, so that's on my wish list because it's, oh, it's unreal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just remembered something else that yeah. I'm loving. It's a person and it's music. Actually, you might know. Do you know Mahalia? Of course, yeah. Amazing. I have. Okay, so you, if, do you guys know who she is? No, probably no. not. So she, I've honestly been obsessed with her since like the first year of uni. Like this yeah. has been like five years. And we used to see her in clubs like when she was so small and just growing. And I just saw her obviously on the TV at Glastonbury and I literally was oh, there crying. Um, but she's just released <clears throat> recently a, a new song with Jojo who's obviously oh huge God. as well. Yeah, and fine. it's so good and her new album's coming soon. So I want to shout that out. Did you go out. to Lessonbury? I did and I watched it on uh, TV, which I actually <laughs> preferred. Um, but yeah, and my friends actually surprised me the other day and they bought me tickets no. for her tour in October, which oh, is the so day nice. after my That's birthday. Sweet. That's so good. How sweet is that? But yeah, I'm obsessed with her and I think everyone should go check her out. Okay. She's amazing. Well, she is amazing. Yeah. For real. Well, we've had a few questions. We're going to do mm. a quick, quick fire. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. I feel like Joella, you'd be good at this one. How to deal with job rejection. Oh my gosh, this this creative <laughs> world is just filled with rejection. It's so funny, yeah? The first time like I, I left my job or whatever and I was penciled in for a commercial that I was mm -hmm. gonna do. Like I said, had no money, totally broke. You know, I went to go and get some groceries. This is like me on my own. The first week I'm penciled in for this job. I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm excited. And I'm walking down the road with loads of bags and um, I get a call from my agent saying, oh, they've released the pencil. I didn't know really what like the like being penciled in mm. really meant. I started crying with these heavy bags on my oh. arms. Like, so I couldn't even wipe my tears, yeah. honestly. Oh, <laughs> oh my just, God. Just oh, down the road in the summertime, probably July-ish time, <laughs> streaming water coming from down my eyes. But that was like life. You yeah. know, really, it's life. It is part of life. And, and it's character building. One of my favorite Agreed. quotes, it's not rejection, it's redirection. Yeah. 100%. I've never I heard that. I've never heard that. Really like that. I feel like I'm, that. honestly, I'm such a true believer in if something is, like you're rejected from something or turned down from something, like it's not meant for you. And it's yeah. all a yeah. learning experience as 100%, well. 100%. Like, like never a lesson, always a, uh, never a failure. Oh, Look at you in these quotes. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Never a failure, always a lesson. That's it. That's yeah, it. Um, yeah, I'm coming up with this quote. <laughs> um, but no, honestly, one of my favorite <laughs> okay. quotes is, it's not rejection, it's redirection. Yeah, yeah. Like 100%. That. Yeah. Another one that I like is, um, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Yes. Oh, and I, nice. I truly do I believe really that. Like. And to be honest, like, when I was younger and I really put so much pressure on myself in terms of my career, I used to say, if I don't make it as a rapper by the time I'm 16 oh years old, 16? imagine. Because I had like, you know, like little Bow Wow, who yeah, was like my yeah. soon to be yeah. husband. In my yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the, they were like older than me, but you know, like that's who I mm -hmm. like grew up listening to. But like, yeah. if I was that rapper at 16 or, you know, even like in my late teens or whatever yeah. it is, like the Joella back then was not prepared for yeah. that life. Yeah. I wasn't confident enough enough mm -hmm. I didn't really like know who I was yeah. as well like up until a few years ago yeah, yeah. 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 I was still learning yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. so true yeah. yeah it's actually it's quite freeing to like know that like, if you can just let things like that go mm. because like what's mm. meant for you that's another one what's meant yeah. for you will always be yeah <laughs> look at us <laughs> so motivational we are so like aspirational yeah. so deep with deep girls, you know yeah. How to build your style? Millie, I think you'd be good at answering this. Yeah, Millie, well, you'd be good oh, at this. Oh God, I think, do you know what? It's, I mean, for me, like it's so evolving and ever changing. Yeah. Like I only just feel like I've come into my style in like the past mm -hmm. two years. And it's a lot of trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> like I look back at like me at uni, I'm like, oh my God. Don't like, really <laughs> worry. Um, I think, it, yeah, it's just like trial experimentation. Like then you might find like a certain way that you dress that you really like and then I will say like buy what you love don't feel like you have to like get into trends or like yeah. if something suits like doesn't suit you don't feel like you have to wear it yeah. and then just like build around like those key pieces mm -hmm. um but i think it's a lot of trial and error yeah also look at like inspiration like i love pinterest like saving loads of stuff mm. on instagram um and just see like other people's styles that you like and then like recreate that with stuff in your wardrobe I also yeah. think don't put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah. Like I don't think have fun with it. Don't, like yeah. don't feel like you have to have like a style that's really defined. No. Like and be intuitive and yeah, like, and yeah. you'll find that it's like all change. Yeah, exactly. so just you know, perfect. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> um, okay, next one. Best coffee shops in London. We could do a quick, Ooh, quick fire. Quick fire. Right, everyone say one. Uh, My favorite yeah. caravan. 
Coffee. That? They've got a few all over London. There's one in Canary Wharf, obviously. Nice. But Mine is where it. I used to live down the road from you, District. District. Oh, yes. Yeah. You've got one. There's one in Shepherd's Bush Market. It's mm. called Sweet Caroline's. Oh, it I is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Mine it's is really Apple Blue and Ballum. 100%. Oh, I really must. want to go yeah. there. <laughs> um, okay, what about favourite phone apps? Oh, TikTok. <laughs> my favorite is TikTok. No, I'm like a secret phone gamer. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna have to have a quick. I have to have a quick. I don't look. answer the phone sometimes because I'm gaming. Um, there's one called Clash Royale. I'm going against a real person in real time. Okay, I can't answer the phone right now. I'm gonna lose trophies. Can't yeah, have that. That's so funny. <laughs> yes. Love it. Mine. Um, it's a new one that yeah. I discovered, and it's actually transformed my life. It's a app called Time Tree. Okay. So it's a shared calendar. So me and my boyfriend like don't live together. So we have to be quite scheduling like what we're doing, yeah. where we are. And it's amazing. So you have a shared calendar. So you, you both put what... things in like color, color coordinated. That. So I've got like, I'm in one color, and then both the different color. Oh. Like it's so good. Oh. I mean, like, it, honestly, if you have like long distance relationship or like friends or like anything like friends, that. Friends, do you know what? That would be key. Cause it's it's in like a, your yeah. girl group, it's so difficult yeah. to find a week. Oh, we do, we do polls on WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh, that's a good what idea. What date you can all do dinner. Yeah. But then you, you put it in what the, up to. the shared calendar. Yeah. I like it's that. Great. It's very good. So that's really good. I said TikTok earlier. Now I feel like I should have thought more yeah, creatively. Um, I, re- I, ha- I can't remember what it's called, but we can put it on the screen or in the thing. But it's basically like you can make outfits with it. So you can like upload things from, like you can go on Zara and then it like saves so it down you. for you. Like you're an app. I know. And then it like does little collages for you. <gasps> okay. I so love this. So so What's it called? Oh oh, right I'll now. tell you. This is going to make my it. life so much easier because I'm kind of like going in Canva and like editing. Yeah, I know. I used to do that. I used to do that because I like posting what posting them on TikTok as well yeah. but I I'll have to I can't oh find it now. it's, it's deep life. in the folders but I'll um we'll link it I need, oh, yeah, I need that yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love I've that. got one it's What's called yours? POV has anyone heard of it no. No. so it's basically it's like a disposable camera <gasps> but you can give it to so say I'm having a party tomorrow night and you girls are all coming I'll send you I've the seen link this on TikTok I'll send you the and link I sent to it to my friend for her wedding yes, yes. <laughs> okay so I'll send you a link and you have say 20 disposables you can use that night and then the no one so can see good. them until the next day and they all drop in the chat. <sighs> so what, I saw you just this on... do it on your phone. Yeah. Though. So it's on your phone. So it's basically when you're at the party, it's 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 up on your phone. Mm-hmm. So it's like ready to go. So yeah. it's like oh, on your home that. screen and you, and you and only then... have twenty. Yeah, it's twenty or fifty. Yeah. I think you can set how many you can That's have. So good. But then you can't see till the next day. I saw this on TikTok <laughs> and it was a wedding. They did it all there. And then I was sent it to my friend who's getting married in August. Yeah, like, perfect for a, a wedding. Idea. Imagine them putting yeah. that in yeah. an album. And does it look like a disposable? Yeah, it looks it's like, like that. You like can change. It drops the next you day can, and you can see them all. Yeah, so and you can so change good. the settings and stuff so you can have it like mm, more vintage or whatever. Yeah. Oh. That sounds cool, but mm. I do want the real thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. They are yeah. so good. Right? They are expensive. And then like, who is They're taking the five disposables that I still have in my house right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know took where over I took pictures. Oh, I, was planning, yeah. I was planning my best friend's hand and I was like, oh, it'd be cute to get like disposable cameras for everyone in the rooms. 25 pounds yeah. for what? I thought, I was like, oh, they're like five Not quid for, for boots. One. They've gone up. I 25 pounds for yeah. one. And, and, like, and then the exposure's what? like really off. And, and I was like, you know what? Like, no. yeah. Although we just had our headshots for Lux Girl Down and yes. we did them on disposables and they it turned great. out so yeah. cool. Yeah. It was really so much fun. fun doing that, didn't so if so you can good. be bothered to go drop them off somewhere, yeah. do do it. Yeah. Um, right, we'll do two more. Favourite summer shoe. I want to know what everyone's favourite summer shoe is as well. I think I'm wearing my favourite ones. They are the... Boston, no, they're not. <laughs> the Arizona <laughs> Birkenstocks, so, and they're the, this like metallic silver. Are they I just, new? They look so. No, fresh. I've ha- do they? They've got yeah. scuffs everywhere. I've yeah. had them for like yeah, about a year cute. and a half now. But honestly, in summer, I just wear them on repeat. Love them. I could not live without. Uh, how do you say it? Havianas, Hava- yeah, Havianas, yeah. Havianas, yes. black staple. Oh, really nice. Like, if I had to pick one shoe first in my life, it would be them because they're flip-flops. so comfy. Mm. Yeah. And they like proper flip flop. Proper flip flop. Mm. Um, it's definitely gonna be trainers. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm like a. Heel and trainer girl. Yeah. yeah. I actually Can't hate relate. sandals. Do you? Yeah, like mainly for my own comfort. Yeah. yeah. You know, I feel like I'm all flip flopping down the road. <laughs> okay. My toes like that. Like how do you I feel like those you don't have to keep them. No, yeah. these are quite comfy. Yeah, they're yeah. Like, I need something like that. Yeah. So what's your hate summer trainer? Flops. 
Um, I don't have one because I, I do have a rotation, but like yeah, these they are so, so yeah. cool. Like, I'll I'll just put these on with like a pair of sorry, a pair of like short shorts. Yeah, yeah. Nice. and like a white vest or something simple like that because clearly they're very noisy. Do you know, <laughs> I've got a massive trainer collection. I do. I don't know how many I have, but I do have. <gasps> do you? We're yeah. gonna have to come. Well, the fact you don't have that. many yeah. shows. Yeah, <laughs> so yes. many. I have no storage for it. As well, oh my as goodness. Terrible. On display. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy, how about you? Uh, ooh, what would mine be? I'm a trainer girl, you know. I'm yeah. a trainer girl as well. But I, my summer would. Well, you've just got a pair of fresh white New Balance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 550s. Oh, yes. I've gone for the 550s. I was nice. like, God, I've had to wear them in a bit. Yeah. They are a little bit stiff. Did you size up? I well. like them. No, I should have sized I know. I was telling her see, they no, come. See, come I size up half and I wish I'd stuck. Because mm, they're a little oh, bit yeah. on the big side. But they do look good. I really want to keep them white. But other than that, I would probably say. Um, Your clogs? Yeah. No? Um, I do love a croc. You do. I do love a croc. She's a croc, <laughs> croc girl summer. I've got, two, I've got two pairs. I've got like this marble pair, like bluey marble pair, and I've got a white pair. Lovely. Guys, don't rate them till you try it. Don't uh, I'm there for the comfort. I just could yeah. not pull it off day to day <laughs> but while we're talking about fashion let's go through what everyone's wearing oh yes Joella would you like to start yeah so you know I've obviously already mentioned my trainers but these are Air Max ones and they're a special collaboration with um, a brand called Concepts so both sides are a bit different. Oh, so, um, so, so cool. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. They're just a bit wild and crazy. They have other colours, but this was my favourite. I don't know where I got these jeans from. They're really but cool. they're somewhere, but yeah. I do like the little... I love the cutout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah little... Oh, sexy. Little, you know, yeah. you know but, but not too sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, can't remember where they're from. And this top is from a brand called Stored. Yeah. Have I put oh, yeah, Stout? Stout. Oh, Stout. Yeah. Stout. Yeah. So, yeah. So, sometimes the Brooklyn is like, <laughs> it's I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Like, I'm the worst. I say certain words really bad. So Can bad. you do a good Brooklyn accent? Yeah, go on. <sighs> All right, honestly, Han. Oh! Right? <laughs> Like, because I lived in, like, the real ghetto, you know? Like, I don't know how to do no other accent other than this one, because this is, like, really how I am so I'm good. obsessed. <laughs> so good. I think, a, like, a New York native will probably cuss me for that. No, that's why I, 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 like, I don't yeah, think I really it's, like, it, no, it's know, good. my friends, they always, they're like, no, you've lost <laughs> it. Because <laughs> that's what I had. Like, I didn't have a trace of a British accent. Really? Really? Yeah. No, at all. When I came back, it was just... Um, I think I might have been about 15 or 16 oh, wow. when I started speaking with like a British accent. Wow. I didn't want to wow. lose it. No, yeah. you just pick it up, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You just adapt to your environment. But I'm also not you? upset that I have a British yeah. accent because yeah. I was born here. Yeah. So yeah. I don't, you know, yeah. I want to stay true to this. Yeah. Mm. Days, yeah. <laughs> I am wearing Naked Blazer, Lil Zara tank. Cute. These Cute. shorts, which are part of a cohort from, how do you say it, Sam? Holzweiler. 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 <laughs> and my Arizonas. Nice. Really nice. And a nice little new luck list this from yesterday. was from yesterday. Um, Tatiana Alida's collab. Oh, yeah, collab cute. I got some earrings. Very oh, nice. Sweet. I can't remember what the brand was called, but we'll link it below. Yeah. yeah. Sat, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my Damps and Madder Gilet. It's a lovely I leopard that print. Was no, I know. It's, I think it's because it's the leopard print. Yeah. Um, and then just my Uniqlo t shirt and Zara linen trousers, which I've literally been wearing on repeat, and my Arizona back of the socks. Well, cute. Um, I feel like I'm very dressed down for today. You look great. Um, yeah, no, it's because I got a call up and I was already yeah. in London. I was like, I didn't pack anything. Oh. Um, so I've got my Frankie Shop um, oversized shirt, which I'm literally living in. Grey rib tank from Cezanne, and then some black jeans from Naked, and then my Adidas. Lovely. Yeah, nice. brilliant. Great. Well, that was great, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much you so much for having you. us. Yes. That was we fun. We loved having you guys. And uh, Joella, we're excited to see what you get up to. I know. Just so nice. yeah. Follow the socials yeah. and have a little yes. looky look. I've got exciting cool. things coming up, actually. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. okay yeah. amazing. Mill, we'll see you shortly, I'm see sure. See you soon. Thrilled. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.